so. Good evening. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing fantastic tonight. I want to talk about something um, impeccable. I want to know how many people understand. Hi, Jessica. How you doing? I want to know how many people understand the word impeccable. Hello, Mr. Michael Crumrai. I want to talk about the word impeccable. Impeccable and how many, how many of us understand the meaning, you know, because it has, there's great value in the word. And I think a lot of people don't know. I don't think a lot of us research. Hi, you're good, good. It's cold outside again, Jesse. It's freezing. Hey. So, good evening, good evening, good evening. So, you know, I, I was, I'm reading something. And Jesse, you know I hate reading, but I decided I love reading. I, did, I love reading because I have, to, I have to use my mind to empower myself to, to, to tell myself I love reading. So, in that sense, instead of saying I don't like something that I'm trying to get a, a certain taste or acquire for, I'm going to say that I like reading. And the more I tell that to my mind, I empower my mind, I threaten my mind, and I continue to read more, and I keep getting more and more and more information. And some of the information I'm going to love, some I'm going to believe, and some I'm not going to love, and some I'm not going to believe. But at the end of the day, I am feeding my mind. Hi, Sheena. How you doing? I want to start using this page, you guys, because this page is open. It's wide, wide open. It has... Um, 4,700 and some odd people on it, and it is Sunday tea, and it has room to grow, so I want you guys to start coming over and listen, and the way to get you into it, I've decided to personal growth, absolutely, personal growth, you're right, I'm doing personal, it's for me, I'm learning self-love, um, I'm learning to like who I am and what I'm, bec and what I'm becoming, and I, it's, sounds kind of strange because if you if you never wanted to learn these things or find out these things and you don't search for them you will never you won't see the change you won't see the difference but the minute you decide to, to look for them it becomes amazing so you know what we hear the word I hear that word all the time you know and you ignore things like um impeccable what's impeccable what does that mean and the way it sounds it sounds clean when you say the word impeccable it sounds clean to me i'm impeccable you know and it tells you what impeccable stands for you know and it says we need to be impeccable with our words and that's what i'm saying the word that the, the word impeccable sounds so powerful um we need to be um our performance is impeccable. The way we address our friend is impeccable. The way we think of our friends is impeccable. The, the, the way we think of things. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like we're, to me it sounds like we're a being. But I don't think it says, it's the highest, standard, highest standards of priorities. False. So it's, where we accept our faults like if we're wrong we at least can say i'm wrong do you know what i mean it's it's a way to it's a way to be honest that's what it says impeccable it's so you are impeccable sounds like more of an honest thing it's it sounds like more being honest with yourself and with the people or the family that surrounds you and for me, that's amazing because for me to really actually sit down and define a word and break it down and, and get the meaning and get the understanding shows me that I'm doing personal growth and I'm growing. And it's important that we're growing. It's, it's so important that we're growing. And it's funny because I have some, um, I have some word here to help us um, go through the growth process and you guys can grow with me the, the reason why I say you guys can grow with me is because I feel like even though I'm doing so 
many things in life right now. I feel like I haven't really started growing. I think I'm touching on a tiny in pit of my potential because there's things about me that I have to get a reassurance for and if I can't reassure myself that my growth is positive and my change is positive I don't expect anybody else out there to make those changes for me I have to it has to start within me and once I see that in me, I will see that in every other people, other person. You know, whether or not good, bad, ugly, or green, I will see it. Because once I love me, I'm going to love everything else about everyone. And it's an amazing, amazing feeling to get when you are evolving into that place, into that place of love or into the place of unconditional love. It, there's something about me that I didn't know until I started to do more research and more research and more research. And sometimes I can't sleep at night, you know. Sometimes I wake up nervous, scared. There's a fear. There's a fear of something. Like there's a fear of losing something. There's a fear of not having something. It's a fear of not getting to the next step. But it boggles my mind because the fear is so strong. And no matter how you pray it off and how you, you pray and pray and pray and pray and try to get, try to, to, try to get that to that comfort level where you're okay to function, you go back to bed again the next next day and there's that fear, fear of loss of something, fear of not succeeding, fear of not being a good mother, fear of not being a good wife, fear of not being a good friend, just you're, 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 you're smothered with fear and not realizing that fear is one of the worst things that a human can have. There are so many things connected to fear. Fear is connected to anger. Fear is connected to jealousy. Fear is connected to gossip. Fear is connected to unsureness. Fear is connected to so many things that grow and infest into a big ball of negativity that it's really important for me to work on that skill that calls fear. Because when you're when you fear, you will not try. You would not elevate to the next level because you're always worried about what if I did, what if I that, what if I that. Just the the fear is crazy. It is it's it's like it stops you from breathing. I don't know if anybody understands that that feeling of fear or feeling of coming out of your comfort zone. Jessica, you once told me that you you had a fear um, of not feeling sexy in your clothes and, and feeling that you can't wear the same thing as some a skinny girl or something. It's not that you didn't look as good as any other woman into a small sexy skirt it was the fear that had you thinking that you didn't look as good as everybody else and that you shouldn't wear it because everybody else looks sexy in it besides you so you see where the fear took us the fear took us from oh I don't think I should to I don't look as good I shouldn't wear it, I don't have the right body, I don't this, I don't that, and then, yes, free of judgment by others, absolutely, so it is really, really important to, to try to fight fear, I 
don't know how. I don't know how. Because we, I feel like from the day we were born, we were born in fear. We were. Because we come alive and then we were taught by our parents and we were taught if we're good, we get candy. If we're bad, we get scolding and we were taught that <coughs> one day we will die. When we start to have sense, one day we will die. And then we start to see accidents and pain and all that stuff. So fear is something that was always with us, right? How do we not let it affect us? like affect us in, in that sense. So this that's one of my that's one of my biggest biggest thing is, is the fear. Like it eats it eats me alive. Whether people take it or not take it or wanna use it and use it for something else. I'm I'm trying to revamp those feelings because those feelings allow you not move to the next level of your life and I need to go to the next level of my life now Jessica that is that is fantastic Jessica says reading and speaking with my inner circle of friends has helped come help me come out of fear to grow and that and that is that is so important. It is so important to surround yourself with positive positive people. It is important to know to read. It's important to knowledge knowledge. I have now I have now developed a, a, a new skill as you want to call it that I try to read a chapter a day of something in power something that empowers me and it's amazing because I did not enjoy it but now I find that I do enjoy it and I can do more than a chapter so I set a limit for myself which was a chapter a day but I see that I can max two to three chapter a day especially if I'm interested and it has open reading has opened my it's a broadened my views. It's a broad my intelligence. It is as it's, it's I'm feeding the seeds to my mind and as I feed the seeds to my mind there's so many things growing. If we talk about success, success cannot come unless we have it planted, unless that seed is planted into your brain, your mind you have to plant the seed. Anything good that has ever come, whether it's good or bad, had to the seed had to be planted to make it grow. So what I'm trying to say is, can you imagine if we plant less negative seeds and plant more positive seeds? Can you imagine the outcome that we will end up with? It'll be more amazing than we thought we thought. So in that case, this is where I plant my seeds for positivity and more reading and more reading. And the more I read and the more information that I take in, the more excited I get. And what I'm trying to explain, it's not bad information, it's positive information. And I am um, like, I just, I'm, over, I'm excited. So when you're reading and you're installing this kind of information into your brain and it's positive information and you feel this kind of strength and push and adrenaline, you 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 put yourself to another level. You're at another level of life. I also realize I'm not I also realize a lot of us don't know who we are. We don't know who we are because we change ourselves for other people. Things we don't like, we do it because other people planted the seed in our head and said, you're good at that, but you're not good at this. But that's their opinion. If I didn't let that agree agreement 
if I didn't settle with that agreement that I was good at one thing and not the other. And this is where I know that I don't allow these agreements in my head because somebody can't tell me that I can do here, but I can't do barbering. And I can't do nails. Even if it's not the perfect, I can still do it. So I don't set limitations to myself. So I do not subject my thought to those kind of seeds that I cannot do. I sow the seeds and then I do them. So on that note, that for me is a strength. That's a strength for me. But the fear is where I see locks in and if you're not careful, it leaves you absolutely crippled. Crippled, crippled, crippled. So, impeccable, you must be impeccable. I love the word, it sounds so distinguished. You must be impeccable in your character. You must be, you know, a man must be impeccable, impeccable in your character. So your character is in and it's kind of like your honesty, the honesty that you protrude, and the strength that you who, you know, the confidence that you who. It's 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 it, 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 it's all of them put together when we use the impeccable word, and all these things it what grows you into a remarkable human being. Remarkable. That is just part of my quote that I wanted to share tonight and I needed to share it on this page because it needs to be used. I have one more thing that I want to share with people and the reason why I'm sharing them, these are the seeds that I didn't have sown into me and I am now taking back control of my life and I'm taking back control of me which is my self-love, and I'm loving me first. And once I can love me, I can love anybody else out there, right? Because I would know what it takes to love me. So from I know what it takes to love me, I'm going to know what it takes to love the other individual, and I'm going to be impeccable with it. And I'm going to be impeccable with it, with them. But if I don't know what it is to love me, I cannot know what it is to love you. And I cannot know what it is to be impeccable. And these are the strengths that I was lacking in, so I'm taking them back. I'm not in agreement that I am not an impeccable woman. I am in an agreement that I am an impeccable woman. I am a brilliant woman. Those are the seeds that I am sowing. I am a brilliant woman. And from I know that I'm a brilliant woman, I'm going to know that you all are a brilliant woman because it'll take one to know one. And these are the seeds that I want to sow. One more seed I want to sow before I leave is don't take anything personal. I take everything personal. And Jessica, if you're out there, you know me better than some people, most people, and you know that I take things personal. But there's no need to take anything personal. I have realized that to take things personal is what breaks down our barrier. Break, to, turn, to take things personal breaks us down. It breaks us totally down. Nobody, nobody can tell you what you are capable of. Most individuals are so weak and they're so weak that they will say the things that are interfering into their lives. They will say the things that they've sowed into their mind, the seed that they've planted into their mind, their thoughts. They sow those seeds in there, and they're negative seeds, negative. So they have those seeds that they've sowed that is grown and infested into negative things and then they're not happy with themselves. They are not happy with themselves. So then they turn around 
and they use those seeds that they've implanted in themselves that are negative and now they want to use them against us. Nobody's opinion bears any benefit, any title, nothing on you. Nobody's opinion means nothing. It's just an opinion. Sometimes people state opinion because they want to look like they're right and they want to make you look wrong. Misery absolutely loves company. You're right, Kiki. So I want to let people out there know these are my those these are my two seeds that was planted in my brain. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you just came on, I'm doing a mind I'm doing a change of mindset. And in order to do a change of mindset, I am now reading all the time, all the time, all the time. And I'm filling my I'm I'm, I'm filling up my my mind with fuel, just filling it with positive fuel, positive, positive, and I'm weeding out the negative, uh, dirty gas that I had in here from people intentionally trying to manipulate and, and take out my positive mindset, and I want to let them know, if I don't react to their po negativity, and if I don't have any in a, if I don't have an agreement, if I don't have any agreement to their negativity, I can't fuel, fuel their fire. It cannot go anywhere because I am not in agreement with it. I'm not thinking, I'm not planting those negative seeds in here to build, to fuel the fire. You understand? That is the potential of not taking anything personal because... Taking it personal just builds, just builds and makes the fire eliminate. And when you start to react, and especially if you start to react in a negative way, you have now taken their negative thoughts, their negative behavior. They flew your, they've now come into your good space, and they just planted a really bad seed, and you retaliated. So you now have opened up to the negativity of the seed, if that makes any sense to anybody. Think, live, love, breathe, speak, positivity. That's, that, that is what it is. But sometimes, um, Kiki, it is harder, sometimes it's harder to be positive. It is so easy to distract, to be distracted into negativity. It says gossip. Gossip is one of the big. When I when I was reading and they were elaborating on the word gossip, they kind of call it um, like voodoo, it, 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 like black magic. And, and if you think about it, it kind of makes sense if you kind of if if, if you get the explanation for it. You tell me something that is negative. Or let me give you a scenario why gossip is kind of like black magic, they say. I'm going to school, and I started a new university. And one of the students told me that the principal is a pervert. The principal is a pervert, and he doesn't know what he's teaching about, and he molests young girls. So that's the gossip that I got. Now, instead of me take the opportunity to meet the teacher and to get to know the teacher and to find out if the teacher is a good or a bad person. That's not what I do. That's not what we do as humans. Now, the seed is planted inside my brain and I've now came to my own judgment <coughs> that the teacher is now a pedophile and I'm going to watch him and I'm going to be careful and if he even looks at me the wrong way, I'm getting ready to charge him, or I'm ready to do something to him. And I don't want to be in his class, really, because it makes me, it disgusts me. I feel gross. He's like a pedophile or a disgusting. So now I don't want to be in his class. I didn't take the chance to get to know this man and find out what his problem or his issue or what is going on, or was the student failing and got upset with him. We didn't know the story. 
but immediately because I took that part of the sentence and it is so much easier to believe the negative of someone than the positive. I've already now downsized. It's in my memory bank and that is what I believe so that's what happened. And I'm going to transfer it. Right? And maybe nothing goes like that. Nothing is like that at all. But I have now condemned this teacher and I'm going to go and use it again and I'm going to somebody else. And that one person I told just told another person and just to see, so now the witchcraft has just started. We just now condition and put a blame or put a something on top of that person. You know, a lot of people said words don't hurt, but word is, words are strong. Don't let nobody say, oh, don't listen to what they're saying, don't believe it. Let me read this comment. It's harder cause the devil's fighting stronger, but it's a day by day process. Time to time for positive change. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely, Absol absolutely. I'm gonna come back on this same channel tomorrow, same time. I want you guys to get used to Sunday tea. Um, the folks from the people. You guys share this video. Share, share, share. Just hit it. Just share it. Tell your friends to share it. Just hit it. These are important um, life skill, important skill that we need and there's much more I'm coming with. I'm doing a couple of, I'm doing about a month of this and I'm going to come every day with something new, something different to empower each other, to empower women to change thoughts, to change mind patterns, and to sow positive seeds as much as we can. Join me tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I will be on again on Sunday Tea channel, just so you guys can get used to it. But it is amazing when you take the opportunity to love yourself, to know yourself, because the outcome is fantastic. And the love that you possess for others is also fantastic. And you notice the change in you, the way you speak, the way you look, the way you talk, the way you walk. It all comes together and shows quality. The word impeccable. When you follow these procedures, you become an impeccable man or an impeccable woman. Thanks for joining in and I will see you guys again tomorrow. And don't forget Sunday tea. Every Sunday I come and I talk about topics that I feel it's necessary to discuss. So have yourself a fantastic night, and we'll see you again tomorrow. I hope some of this helped you guys. Bye-bye.